Fuss, 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 fuss. This house is such a mess. into another five yard. These fives are made up before the sixes, that's why I've been showing lots of the fives. But these guys are looking good. I'm not gonna break into them. We're getting stacks on them right now. A little bit of rain showers today, but it doesn't deter this type of work. The bees don't know any different, except for us getting wet which we are not made out of sugar. So as far as I'm concerned, we can bring on the rain. Beautiful Monday morning. These bees are booming. All the wax are drawn out. Practically filled a spot. time of year it's all about timing. Uh, these hives as they grow exponentially uh, they're able to bring in masses amount of nectar which they collect from the massive amount of flowers from the field and it's just a matter of trying to keep the bees in the boxes to be able to collect that nectar and it's just a matter of timing the growth of that hive to the crop out in the field. So some years we grow these massive hives and we miss the opportunity because the uh, we're off in our timing and there isn't any bloom out in the field anymore because we it's passed or sometimes these hives peak and the bloom is later on the season we don't get any rains so it's all out of our control all we can do is set these hives up to build to capture that crop if it's there and this looks like we're under our timing this year it looks like there's nectar and flowers out there this year bringing in this massive crop. So this time of year we can count two boxes a week and that's what I'm seeing right now. I'm not sure if it's how long that's going to hang on. We missed the rains, the flowers are starting to disappear from the fields. The bees will have to fly a little bit more to bring in this nectar so I think we'll be back down to a box a week if not half a box a week right shortly as the flow ends here. But for the time being it looks like they're filling two boxes. This is two boxes in three or four days. We give them a third to catch it if it's coming in. So things have been looking pretty consistent in regards to swarming. Anything that's been boxed up here is an obvious hive that's kept, that I've been able to keep in their box and keep them working. Some of these hives uh, that are down to, you know, some of them I take down to just the one super. And then there's some other hives on the other side where I didn't add a third super. Those ones, you know, maybe they're just a little bit smaller. Uh, could be a chance they swarmed on me too, just I didn't see them swarm. Uh, but when I'm seeing the yards, this is what I'm seeing mostly through the apiary, uh, seeing yards that are, you know, needing that extra space, that's telling me that they've dedicated their workforce to hoarding the honey and no thought towards swarming. And the longer I can keep them in this working spirit, the longer I can keep them in the boxes um, and not think about swarming, because I'm I'm building these massive colonies. These colonies are huge. And it's just a matter of keeping the space ahead of them. And just, you know, I need that inflow of nectar to keep their attention directed towards the fields. And if things line up properly, I can keep them in the boxes. I can bring in this massive crop. Sometimes the timing's off a little bit. Sometimes, you know, these dynamics are off a little bit. And this massive population that I build they actually end up in the trees. So a lot of this is out of my control, but a lot, of the, a lot of what I'm doing here is strictly my focused management on, you know, manipulating this colony 
to be able to produce these massive populations and have them mature at the same time I anticipate this massive honey crop to be available out there to gather. And I just love it when things come together. All this time and all this effort, it just feels awesome. I'm bringing these boxes in. This yard, we have stacks of 36, so the rows is 72. I have probably 160, 567 boxes on this load right now from this yard practically full the top boxes were you know two-thirds full so we're right on our timing there and I also have these colonies with basically two supers full again so it appears to me that we are right on our timing and it just feels like I'm grabbing absolutely everything that's out there right now and bringing it in and this is just this is one of those feelings in this business when you can you can you you will appreciate it for all the hard work and effort we put into this business this feeling of being able to capture that flow and bring it in and capitalize it's it's one of those moments i really enjoy about beekeeping because we got to enjoy these moments because we have that flip side too where we see absolute failure Just about five o'clock and just like clockwork we have the five o'clock rush in the bee yard and it certainly doesn't help having the trucks in the path of these hives you can see they're bringing in heavy honey yet trucks have kind of got them disorientated a bit almost looks like a swarm They don't know where to go. So we'll hurry up and get these trucks out of their way and they'll find their way back into the nest and then carry out throughout the evening. Just unloaded my third truckload of the day and that's why there's a few bees around the door here. So we have, this is what I brought in today, one, two, three, these three rows and then those two are what Carrie's working on and that's what we brought in on Saturday. And I just want to show you uh, the problem with these escape boards is we like we don't bring these are just the amount of bees here are just left over I call them smattering of bees they will leave and fly to the window but it's the uh, every once in a while we bring in a queen because she gets up through the excluder or let's say the hive supersedes or swarms and the virgin gets up top and the boxes don't clear and I'll see if I can find one here And they usually show themselves right away when you bring them inside. I don't see any that we brought today. That's good. Certain we'll have something here. So I found when I was blowing bees or using fume boards, uh, I didn't have that problem because, well, you just blew the queen out in the grass. And then you brought in fresh boxes. And here's one. So you can see how the bees are kind of covering the top bars here. They're not leaving, like they're not flying to the light, and they won't because they'll stick to that brood nest. There's probably brood down here somewhere, somewhere down in the stack. There's probably brood. There's probably a queen in there. Well, 
And there's another one. Same thing here. You can kind of see the bees. They're just covering the top bars. So they won't leave. They will stick to that box until we pull them out. So those are the pain in the ass. Because the guys have to deal with the bee box of bees in the honey house. But Carrie usually pulls them out and deals with them on her own. But for the most part, the rest of them are pretty clear. So these are just brought in today. So there's not a lot of issue with these. These have cleared out masterfully. 